all right ladies and gentlemen welcome back to exotic astrology and today i'm extremely delighted to have sandeep ji with us and togi ji is also there aditya togi and i'm sitting with two doctors here <laughs> and today i have named this as the nakshatra gurukul and today we will discuss on different remedies from nakshatras and different remedies based on animals and certain drawings i was very amazed when sandeep ji and togi ji was showing me the presentation <laughs> but i couldn't understand much so i will also try to understand with you as they keep presenting all right so welcome to exotic astrology this is the first time we are doing a recording together so please enlighten us great so great baba ji thank you thank you for the inviting us yeah uh, thank you for Yeah, Babuji. Yeah, thanks again. Uh, yeah, my pleasure. Great opportunity to come at your channel. Ah, uh, so I, I think I will share my screen uh, now. Let me know if you can see my screen here. Is it yes, perfectly? Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I will just start with basics. Um. Um. And I think I have uh, around fifteen twenty minutes. Correct. Yeah, you have all the time. <laughs> okay. Uh, no, keep it short and sweet. They say correct. So I will just give some introduction and just say um, how we talk about remedies or how we we should we we need to make remedies. It's like uh, I'm teaching you to fish rather than to make uh, teach you how to make fish. Correct. Uh, really, you can go and then fish, and then once you know how you make remedies and all, then I think uh, you yourself can think about what planets in what nakshatra and what remedies will suit you. So, as we know, just for basic introduction, the sky is divided into twelve zodiacal signs, twenty-seven nakshatras. I need not go into the basics of nakshatras and all. I think people may very well know twenty-seven nakshatras, starting from Ashwini, Bharni, Kritika, till Revati. and uh, this is what shown here this is the signs here and the outer circle is nothing but nakshatra starting with ashwini this is bharni kritika rohini mriga ardra purava su kushya ashlesha so and so forth it goes all the way to revati and in astrology as we know again we have uh, uh, nine planets from rahu and ketu are nodal axis and then two luminaries sun and moon and then the rest five planets so five planets We have twelve houses. We have twenty-seven nakshatras or twelve zodiac signs. Then the question comes: How you learn uh, uh, or how you do remedies, and how can you have have certain remedies made on your with your own idea? So to start with making remedies, you have to know some information of um, basically. I go with nakshatras, um, so there are certain things about nakshatras. There are twelve rashis, twenty-seven nakshatras, and each nakshatra has got its own properties. For example, when I say properties, what does it mean? Each nakshatra has got its own deity. Okay, deity is the god, which is uh, the lord of that nakshatra. Not not the planetary lord. Planetary lord we know as for the as for the vimshottri, you have like for example, nakshatra of Kritika, Uttarva, Upalguni, and Uttarashara is for given to sun. Correct. I'm not talking about that, but each nakshatra, and I will talk about what deities of each nakshatra is. <clears throat> but understand the deity of each nakshatra once you understand the deity of each nakshatra you know what is the story of that or mythology story of that now when i say mythology people sometimes are not uh, they are not happy they say oh mythology is not myth but it is a real whatever but understand what is the story of that that will give you the qualities uh, of that nakshatra that will help you to understand what that nakshatra is what it teaches you and uh, what themes can be understood from that nakshatra so understanding the knowing the deity and understanding the mythology story behind it is always uh, i think that's one of the very important step to to make remedies or to understand that nakshatra then the animal symbol comes now these are there are many many things of nakshatra qualities i'm just taking few of them here uh, i'm not going into detail then each uh, naksh nakshatra has got its own animal now knowing each nakshatra as animal then uh, you can get some certain traits of that nakshatra too then there is plant associated with each nakshatra there is shakti there is gunas there is nature now what is nature nature is uh, each some nakshatras are classified into what type for example sthira is sthir means or dhruva they call it's fixed chara is movable tikshna is uh, harsh mridu 
nakshatras are soft mishra are mixed ugra is again uh, what to say uh, intense lagu or shipra is lagu is small or shipra is like fast basically so fast steadiness or uh, uh, mixed qualities so these are some and i will discuss about what it is and then symbols symbols is very important and i think uh, dr kadoli sandeep uh, he will mention uh, the much more in detail about it and some drishti so drishti is whether it's a uh, downward whether it's upward so these are some of the quality there are many more like each nakshatra has got its own color its own direction but i'm not going in much depth i'm just giving you uh, i would just want to give you a basic about how to create your own remedies basically under from the properties of that nakshatra now for example uh, again i am not going into each one story and uh, each nakshatra will itself will take uh, you know the video which make from pi team each nakshatra itself is like 3 hours video but uh, so i will just want to give you a gist of nakshatras and uh, their deities for uh, for example ashwini or ashwin kumaras varni is yama kritika is agni rohini is prajapati which is brahma mrigashira is chandra ardra is rudra Uh, so what what you can understand so these are the quality uh, deities of each nakshatra so if you say ashwini as ashwin kumaras for example uh, maybe i will come to this exam exam example later but uh, for, for example vishnu now vishnu for shravana here uh, the lord is vishnu and uh, and it's a story of uh, vamana basically it's associated with shravana nakshatra so you can understand the qualities of what would have been going in shravana um, by by knowing the story of vamana avatar and what happened in that so similarly uh, sometimes symbol can also be useful and so on and so forth so understand so that's why i will say when you want to know the remedy of a nakshatra or in your chart of uh, where because some planets will be there situated in some nakshatras the some nakshatras all these nakshatras will be occupying certain houses so then the thing comes you should know the qualities of the houses first i think people would have been aware of the 12 houses and what are the what are what they represent and what nakshatras is occupying that house so it's a combination of everything uh, you have to make us what you say muscle out of it uh, then each nakshatra has got its own animals and here is a list of all the animals i'm not going into each and every animal uh, separately and then talking about it but uh, something about uh, uh, ashwini is like horse and when i write m it is a male horse similarly you will have shatabish also as horse but i have written f here that is female horse so male and female horse. this also look for uh, you know yoni and all those uh, and utrashara has got no no uh, pair here because we have 27 nakshatras we have 13 animals 13 times 2 is 26 and then one is left out and that left out is poor pandu utrashara so <clears throat> again that each plant certain plants are associated with each nakshatra so if you really want to uh, uh, activate that nakshatra um, maybe having that plant or taking uh, care of that plant can also uh, bring the qualities of that nakshatra for example ashwini is poison a tree purva bhadrapada is a mango tree which is plenty available in india uttar bhadrapada is a neem tree so <clears throat> if you have certain for example uttar bhadrapada in your sixth house maybe neem products can help you in your uh, maybe with related to stomach related issues because why sixth house is stomach you have uttar bhadrapada nakshatra and you have the tree associated with that is neem tree so that's why i'm saying combining the nakshatra the houses and now the what we have done is combining with that with the plant quality of that nakshatra so something like that so each plant is associated with uh, some nakshatra and this is some list of the plants which is associated and utrashara is jackfruit uh, pushya is you no know, is people now what is people now if you see pushya the quality is what is pushya the if you here if you see the deity of pushya is brihaspati what is brihaspati it's jupiter what who was jupiter what is the role of jupiter teaching wisdom yeah okay. do you know anyone who who is strongly associated with people tree or character uh, in the in a, in the history who is associated with people tree 
generally you get generally in india they say na no, there's a lot of things they say that half of the people say it's a great tree some of them say that there are ghosts inside <laughs> so yeah, yeah 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 this two pairs of it's very uh, there's a hint i will give you a hint uh, close to buddhism because what happened lord buddha was meditating under a people tree correct so he gained the enlightenment under the people tree so you see the call again that's why people tree is very uh, sacred in buddhism oh. because lord buddha was sitting under it and meditating and he got the enlightenment they say so, that he was meditating under a bodhi tree or something so is it that same people or that same is same tree yeah bodhi tree is yeah people oh. tree okay oh. ashwatha is called also called ashwatha because it's called ashwatha tree uh, pushya uh, so uh, it's what was people because that way that's why people tree is considered to be very sacred so now here i have to ask you one question uh, you said regarding neem tree for uttar bhadra pada correct so you said that if this is associated with the sixth house so when you say because uh, then uttar bhadra pada is in pisces so if it's fully in pisces so in that case somebody has to be a libra ascendant exactly or, or you are saying that somebody has to be a libra ascendant with some planet in the sixth house in uttar bhadra or somebody's sixth lord has to be in uttar bhadra pada correct 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 or all correct. of these <laughs> all of all some aspects of that also ah. can be play a role yeah okay. so all those and i will come to uh, giving an example at the end i'm just giving okay. because with a certain remedy it's very uh, of course you, I, I, thanks baba ji to ask this question uh, just giving to so to, uh, to make a remedy of each thing that to understand first what it is yes uh, and then trying to get from what you know what are the properties and then make your own remedies so uh, yeah but a yeah, good question yes exactly and this can also but, be applied to things like suppose somebody is uh, you know maybe 10th lord is in maybe suppose a particular nakshatra like purva bhadra pada and if they if they plant a mango tree in their home do you can it happen that some things related to their career start blooming or something like that yeah absolutely uh uh-huh. yes absolutely interesting absolutely you yeah, know i would also add that uh, pouring water to a mango tree taking uh-huh. care of a mango tree or even like uh, you know uh, they say like in india they make you they say that if you are not getting married and you are a woman a girl who is not getting married take a banana and then plant that banana and do the puja of that as if it's your husband so do the show the light do the incense put the tilak both tilak you know chandana and the tilak separate but uh, it's not a nasta thing but you know it's a plant tree based remedy but it's the same principle you know the tree as uh, you know your friend say you have mercury in um, danishta then look at shami tree as your friend and start talking to that tree and you will find it actually healing <laughs> So, you know that kind of thing uh, that's one thing i would add but uh, go ahead aditya yeah just uh, just to take care of that uh, tree and stuff yeah yeah, yeah. so and uh, then each uh, nakshatra is so associated with shakti so for example what is ashwini ashwini is like quick in action you know all everything if you want really something quick in action because ashwin kumar the horse associ- the horse is animal associated with ashwini bharni is what take away things not the if you think the lord of bhanesiyama what does yama do take away your life so take away things basically kritika the lord is agni shakti is burn purify and burning correct agni is fire fire is what burning and what does it do it takes all your oblation and give it to god basically so it's like if i it's also responsible something like for distribution so kritika nakshatra again for can be for distribution rohini is for growing and creating briga so each nakshatra has got its own uh, uh, i think you can go through this each and every point but i, I won't again uh, lack of time again but uh, um, you can for example i have so i have give, uh, given a list of in just few words about what each nakshatra is for example anuradha worship and devotion so what does that mean you can you can start any worship or start any sadhana or devotion to any god or something maybe anuradha nakshatra can be useful so understanding what are the nakshatra qualities and using accordingly to 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 basically gain that or to enhance our particular uh, about the benefits in that particular direction then there are gunas so these are some things of course now when r year is rajasic s is satvic t is tamasic so there are some gunas associated with each nakshatra 
uh, again. So I don't use much gunas right now in my uh, when I give readings and all. Because again, I'm also not first of all tell me I should be branded. I'm also not an expert of all this. But what some things which I've seen and uh, for me it was easy, easy to connect with deity, plants, animals and all those. So the gunas is also one thing which you can take a look. Then uh, this is interesting. There are some nature of nakshatra life. For example, Dhruva is fixed nakshatra. So if you want to really a long term, for example, if you want to go for a long term relationship or go for a, some, something like a stability thing, <coughs> purchasing a house maybe, because you are going there for a particular long period of time. So some Dhruva nakshatras such as Rohini and all the Uttara nakshatras are important. Then Chara nakshatras are like movable. Chara means moving. So Swati, Punarvasu, Shravana, Danishta, Shatabisha, they are all movable. Now if you see the qualities, Swati, the Lord is date, uh, the date is uh, wind god. Wind is what? To move. Shatabisha, it's Varuna, water again you can say. So it's all Chara nakshatra. Tiksha nakshatras are nothing but uh, very intense nakshatras. Like Ardra, Ashlesha, Jeshta, Mula, they're all very intense nakshatras. So, for example, going for a war. Now, when I say war, who goes to war? Now, now nowadays, no one goes to war as such. But what is war in the day-to-day -day life is competition. A competi competitor, yeah, that's like an analogy of war in our day-to-day -day life. Vridhu nakshatras are good for ceremonies. Vigashira, Chitra, Anuradha, Revati, they're good for ceremonies. They're very soft nakshatras. Mishra is again Kritika and Vishaka. Now, when you say Kritika and Vishaka, it's good for Yajna. Now, why I say Yajna? Kritika, the Lord associated is fire. Vishaka, it's Indra Agni, Agni. So, there's Agni association with that. So, Yajna is what? Starting a new Agni, correct? Fire rituals and all. So, that's why that, those nakshatras are important. Ugra is Barni and all Purva, Purva nakshatras. Now, there's all. Ugra means again, it's also an intense nakshatra, but again, a little bit slightly less than Tikshna. So it's good for war preparation, now preparing for some competition or med meditation also they say, because again, Ugra meditation is also not very straightforward. Right? It, it takes a toll on your body and all. So it's like, again, like an Ugra thing, basically. You're sitting for a po in a posture for so many hours. So all those nakshatras are important for um, who uh, those Barni Purva on all Purva nakshatra is good for meditation or something like that because it's an Ugra nakshatra and Lagu and Shipra Lagu or Shipra Lagu is small means small Shipra is fast so Ashwini Pushya Nasta they are all small and fast nakshatra so like traveling so you can do a travel even in Chara nakshatra or Lagu nakshatra or short wait if you want to do certain things which you want don't want to wait for a long time then Lagu nakshatra can be used and one question I wanted to ask here, like many people have a confusion between the Chara and the Lagu Nakshatras. Mm -hmm. So uh, is there any way to, you know, differentiate somebody wants to travel, suppose, because this is travel and that's also movable. So. Lagu and Shipra, they call Lagu and Shipra. Shipra is also fast. Okay. Chara is only uh, Lagu uh, or and Shipra, they call it. So I've just put Lagu here, but it's also a Shipra. So short and fast. Uh, and Chara is movable. So uh, Lagu uh, is short and fast and Chara is say movable. So that, that's you can, that, that, that's what you can identify. Now when, when you say fast, some results if you want to get really fast. For example, Chara will go mostly in uh, uh, transport or maybe in traveling and all I'll put. But Lagu and Shipra, I will say if you want to, of course traveling will be there, but all plus some things which you want a result to, uh, to come in a day or two or maybe not day or two whatever but if fast mm -hmm. so she price this this nakshatra ashwini pushya nasta is also very fa uh, fast nakshatras or quick basically quick nakshatras but chara is not quick it's just mo shows movable and generally uh, they say in india that the dhruva nakshatras are used for marriages and griha pravesh and all these because you don't want to change your marriage correct now it's yeah. a different story but you don't want to change <laughs> it's fixed correct you are, you are married and it's fixed uh, or maybe a house like if a person buys the house they don't want to go and again uh, go go, so, go buy a new house or something like that mostly if you buy a house you want to rest house is for what basically for resting you really don't want to go again and get into buying new stuff and all. So it's like fixed thing. 
So you want some fixed thing. And if you want a certain fixed thing, you use basically use a certain fixed nakshatra. And, and one, what are fixed one more nakshatra? question I have here. There's a doubt in many people that suppose uh, today when we are uh, when we have got up in the morning, then there's a certain nakshatra which is yeah. running during sunrise. But suppose at 2 p.m. in the afternoon, the nakshatra is changing. So which right. energy is prevalent? The one which is in sun, sunrise time or the one which is exactly at that moment? Uh, I've seen people taking both, actually. I've okay. seen people taking both nakshatras. So you have to consider both nakshatra qualities. Mostly I will give importance to, in that case, I will give a little bit more, little, little bit more important to nakshatra where, when, it is born, uh, where, when the individual is born. I will give a more weightage, but at least uh, at the same time, I won't ignore the previous one too. Uh, like what was that in the morning? Yeah, okay. But, uh, yeah, I'll just add on to that, uh, saying that, uh, you know, uh, people that are say you were born at 5 p.m. in the evening and the nakshatra changes only at 4.30 p.m., you know. So then in the rest of the day, sun has been, it's uh, sunrise happened at the previous nakshatra. So then... Uh, Sometimes it's, it's also important to look into the previous nakshatra when you're born, especially if it's the beginning portion of a particular nakshatra. And then mm -hmm. there is also the Garga system in which the unequal, that's like a completely, <laughs> opens up a completely different bag of worms, you know, but then at least, uh, but it, it, at least I've seen that uh, it's kind of important also to look at the previous nakshatras also of your moon. It kind of gives you a different flavor, helps you understand some things also. Uh, so yeah. Even it won't it won't make sense in the actual thing, but uh, it helps in understanding certain subconscious patterns. You know that thing. Yeah. Okay. I think I should at the symbols. I one, guess one I... more question I have. This is a most frequently asked question. That's why I'm asking you regarding this slide. Uh, when people ask that when should we open our you know suppose we have a business or something then company we are opening on a Dhruva Nakshatra for example because we want that should stay for very long but people ask sometimes that when should we open our bank account so that they need money to come fast but it should be for a long time also so then they should use dhruva or lagu nakshatras what do you think on this now basically when you, when you say opening a bank account or something like that of course uh, again it's related to money then i will also give give not only this this is one category of nakshatra but when it is coming to finance grow create Finance mostly associated finance is what second house thing, correct? So mostly yeah. I associate with Rohini. And Rohini is what? The energy of that Rohini is to grow and create. So to grow and all. So I think Rohini is a good thing for uh, uh, money wise or financial wise or something like that. Okay. So one nakshatra for money I say I have seen for is for Rohini, definitely. It's mm -hmm. also Dhruva, it's also Rohini, prosperity. It's also growing and creating, growing and creating money. Everyone likes it, no doubt. So I will give, uh, so, so nature is fine. That's one part, but also look for other uh, qualities of that nakshatra too, and then combine everything. So what do you say, Sandeep? What do you think? Oh uh, yeah, I would uh, definitely say, uh, depends upon the type of bank account you're opening also. So say you're opening savings bank account, then you know, you need something long term. Uh, say you want current account and you need, you know, maybe something Chara or, uh, you know, Lagu or something like that. And that's also one more thing. Business account, you might need, perhaps you might need, uh, you know, Lagu or uh, Chara or something like that. Uh, but depends on that. Most of the people, you know, ordinary people, they'll be bringing, or else they'll be thinking along savings back, something like that. So I would say, again, the question is also, are you planning to stay there also, right? Or, or do you want to spend more? That's the other thing also. So in in that regard, the Dhruva is good in terms of uh, having and long term thing. That is one one thing I would say. Definitely, I would say um, avoiding uh, certain nakshatras like uh, Ugra or Tikshna. You know, that's one thing uh, I would At ask least. to avoid. But depend, <laughs> yeah, depend. You know, but then again, if you want a loan account, you know, a credit card account, <laughs> again, uh, that's also one. also depends on the planets you have also. So sometimes um, you also. Also, say your second lord is in an Ugra nakshatra, then you might as well uh, make use of that planetary energies in, in that Ugra nakshatra. Another thing also I would say um, on that. So usually with the bank account, well, I would agree with Aditya, but just keep this, uh, what is your intention with that account? Do you want more savings or do you want to 
spend more and things like that so yeah and if there is anything where that you need money very quickly then they can open in ashwini or pushya something like that exactly, i mean yeah. for short term exactly yeah depend on what they are wanting i guess right exactly that yeah Yeah, so I think it's twenty-five minutes, and we can do the next in the second I think part. I will just stay. I will just uh, maybe one more slide. Yes, I yes. Then it's perfect. Adho muka, urdu abuka. Now there are some nakshatra which are like looking down, and some nakshatra looking up, some nakshatra is looking face up, face straight. Some there are certain activities. For example, if you want to dig a well and all, they say uh, all adho muka nakshatra are good. For example, when you want to something do on the above, maybe construction something is above, then Urdhva Nakshatra are good. So again, uh, but I won't go much into that. But after all this, what is the point? Like, what am I saying? Giving you the list of all information on all this, but but how to use it? Basically, that is the main question which people may have. And for example, if you have now, I just give you all one example. Like for example, Saturn is Ashwini in, in Ashwini in the sixth house. So what you can think of? So sixth house is what healing. Care, disease, surveys, court case, litigation. These are all six thousand energy. So I am combining six thousand energy with the planet, which is Saturn and Ashwini. Ashwini nakshatra is what healing. Now, if you see the story of Ashwini Kumaras, you will come to know it was healing and horses and all those things. So get the mythological story of Ashwini, Ashwini nakshatras. Get what it is represents. Get which house it is. get to if you have planet or you may not have planet but at least if you have planet then combine that energy of the planet too for example saturn here it service saturn is giving service to people service to community service oriented now combine all these things now if you have saturn in ashwini in 6000 then how to get a remedy out of it basically you serve society in some aspects of healing and some aspect of medication some aspect of taking care or something like that also bring that ashwini qualities and that that's what you will help to basically burn the karmas of saturn basically and we can do that and maybe on a saturday that could also help yes that could also help so that's how you have to make remedies that's why so to make remedies understand what nakshatras understand what planet understand what their energies so you you need a lot of background story basically to to get mm-hmm. certain remedy but i think with that you can go for example Here I have given Jupiter in Shravana in the ninth ninth house, or Shravana nakshatra in ninth house, for example. Understand the deity is Vishnu. Shravana was hearing. Go to the mythology story of Vaman Avatar. What happened? Three steps, three because he asked three steps of you know, land basically. So that can be three trials. Ninth house is what Guru, philosophy, spirituality, higher learning. So now combine all this. For example, you have Jupiter in Shravana. Now what does that mean? Probably that means now if you see the Vaman Avatar. the story the uh, pali was not uh, hearing to his guru shukracharya correct right? shukracharya avoided him see but he was not hearing so that can be a ninth house is also related to guru so you may not be hearing about or you may not hear the advice of your guru so maybe don't disrespect your guru that can be a theme so then uh, shravana is also hearing so hearing can be hearing advice of others can be Ninth house is also for your guru, so you may change three gurus. That can be that can be another. Theme. This is theme, but the main theme is to basically uh, hear, understand, don't disrespect guru. That becomes a remedy for you then. And for example, Mercury in Swati Nakshatra, they said green gram to pigeon. Now why pigeon? Why green gram? Can anyone link it? If you have Mercury in Swati Nakshatra. mercury is what green color yes green gram is associated with mercury the bird associated with swati nakshatra is pigeon and what is swati nakshatra wind energy so green gram to pigeon uh, can be another remedy for example so you have to make your own remedies like that so that's what i gave you all that basics so understand deities understand gunas understand the animal and plant and then combine everything and make your own remedies So yeah, was, then I we think. can we can do the remedy for every house of the horoscope. Then, like this, it's exactly. amazing. Exactly. So and even even if you don't us. have planets in some houses, like suppose many times people say my seventh house is empty. So does it mean that I will not get married? Oh <laughs> uh, no, but your seventh lord will be somewhere in some exactly. nakshatra. Exactly. Exactly. So bring those all qualities. That that's why I wanted to give you the gist of uh, how to make remedy. This is how we make remedies. That's all. It's nothing. nothing very uh, great or something but if you understand the properties you can very well make you and that will be unique for everyone 
someone will have swati in 10000 someone will have swati in 11000 someone will have it first house so we don't one, one more question i have what about the nakshatra pada here nakshatra pada uh, i have i don't know i have not done that research in study in depth uh, but in navamsha what happened now that's one thing now what i have seen is and what i have observed is of course nakshatra pada play an important role in d9 so d9 also is very important to look for uh, especially for meditation spirituality themes and all and if you want to give certain remedies based on d9 uh, on on certain on these types of meditation and spirituality d9 chart is uh, much more stronger i feel so that's what i see but i'm testing right now i don't know i cannot say it with conformity that this is what it happens but uh, d9 also you have to look so again the padas of d9 also becomes important so this is something like if you should see nakshatras of d1 or nakshatras of d9 i take a combination of both but that's what uh, that's our one it's a certainly a, a very good uh, question and then research is going on let's see what happens very soon we, you will present it <laughs> yeah yeah i'm i'm trying to do with uh, some of my clients and all let's see but yeah but certain okay. times yeah of course then meditation and all they resonate more with uh, d9 thing uh, nakshatras and all that's what i have seen Amazing. and i don't know whether active after 36 i don't know that and because these were all greater than 36 40 years 50 years old so i don't know whether that effect has got certain because they say d9 becomes active at 36 but i am not sure i always feel that d9 is always active but at yeah, 36 this, it may be Mr. Mr. Larson had come to my channel and the videos are still uploading there in my channel he says that the navamsha lagna will decide the situations of your uh, birth circumstances so there's a big confusion there's a big misunderstanding that navamsha gets active after 36 or after yeah. 25 or after marriage he, he clearly said it is not like that and it's not like i also feel not like that That's yeah it depends on the ninth lord of the lagna chart and so many other things he said when that gets active you know the natural ages so that's there uh, he explained yeah. it very beautifully and uh, amazing this is okay. one of the most uh, succinct and <laughs> crisp sessions i think till now <laughs> i just thought maybe i should give the very basic uh, you know uh, how to make rather than giving nakshatra remedies for each nakshatra just think about this and then make your own remedies <laughs> Okay yeah, so sorry, now long time no no that's okay so we now sandeep ji will speak in the next part so stay tuned okay yeah <laughs> thank you toge ji for speaking thank you thanks thanks baba ji thank you very much